From Hermione's wittiest line to Malfoy being turned into a ferret. Oh, my father will hear about this. It's not my fault. And the Harry looking drunk or high. Tune into our ranking of the funniest scenes from the Harry Potter movies. Bloody hell! Number 10. Sorting out Hermione's priorities. In the Sorcerer's Stone, the main trio barely escape being eaten by Fluffy. When they are finally safe, Hermione says the line that became one of her most iconic moments. I'm going to bed before either of you come up with another clever idea to get us killed. Or worse, expelled. And even when the series was over, it remained Emma Watson's favorite. It just seemed like the wittiest, cleverest uh, line. Rupert agreed that it was awesome and added that he still remembered what he said after it. It was just as funny, right? She needs to sort out her priorities. If you think about it, this moment isn't only hilarious, it also shows the amazing dynamic between Ron and Hermione, and so does our next moment. Number 9. The Emotional Range of a Teaspoon This one is from The Order of the Phoenix. After Harry kisses a crying Cho Chang, he talks about it with his friends. Ron can't keep himself from teasing his mate. That bad is it, aren't you? Hermione immediately stands up for Harry. I'm sure Harry's kissing was more than satisfactory. She went on to explain why Cho was so tearful. Cho missed Cedric, probably felt guilty about kissing Harry, and was also worried about failing her exams. For Ron, it seemed like too many feelings to handle at once. One person couldn't feel all that. It'd explode. And Hermione had the perfect response. Just because you've got the emotional range of a teaspoon. In the next moment, the three of them are laughing their heads off because of how funny the line was. <laughs> Interesting fact, this laughter wasn't scripted, but it sounded so natural and all of them looked so cute that it remained in the final cut. And here's another sweet scene. Number 8. The Rubber Duck Function We all remember how fascinated Mr. Weasley was with muggle culture, so the first time he gets to speak to Harry at their home, he wants to know all about it. And he asks Harry a question that utterly perplexes the young man. What exactly is the function of a rubber duck? Oh. Did you know that this line has a funny behind the scenes story? The actor Mark Williams, who played Mr. Weasley, actually came up with this question himself. In fact, he thought up quite a few options. At each take, he'd ask a different question about the muggle world. In the end, the director chose the one that he considered the funniest. And the rest is history. I wish we could see those other takes and all the questions he asked. Now, on to the next moment. Number 7. The Bogart Scene it was a lot of fun to watch the students turn their fears into something to laugh at. Transforming a snake into a clown and adding rollerblades onto a huge spider's legs, it's all very amusing. But the funniest part of this scene was Neville's Boggart. Ridiculous! <laughs> Snape wearing Neville's grandma's clothes, it's classic! For one of the actors from the saga, it became their favorite scene. And you won't guess who because he's not even in it. Gary Oldman once said that the Boggart scene had always stuck with him, all because the imagination behind it was incredible. That you could disarm the Boggart with laughter and humor. Yeah, it does sound pretty powerful. Probably the only person who didn't like the Boggart idea was Malfoy. This class is ridiculous. Yet he also had his funny scene in the series. Number six. Draco Malfoy, the ferret. The moment the imposter Mad-Eye Moody turned Malfoy into a ferret was oh so memorable. It was amazing to see this arrogant young man get that kind of payback for his words. Oh no, you don't, Sonny! <laughs> he was actually pretty cute, don't you think? McGonagall was the only one who didn't appreciate the joke somehow. Is that a, is that a student? Technically, it's a ferret. <laughs> That's logical. You might be wondering how they filmed this scene. First of all, you should know that they didn't actually turn Tom Felton into a ferret. Luckily, the ferret wasn't uh, really me. Luckily, they brought in a stunt double ferret. In fact, they even brought two. A fake one was used for the ferret that was thrown up and down. <laughs> and they also had a real trained ferret. It was a live ferret, and that like, came like Charles's double inside in one for the ferret to go down and obviously to protect it from scratching my leg. And all their efforts paid off because the scene was amazing. 
just like the next one. Number 5. The Introduction of Luna Fans love her for her eccentric ways and airy voice, but the first scene with Luna certainly remains the most memorable. Remember how Harry sees the Thestrals for the first time and no one else can see them? And Luna is the only person who backs him up? I can see them too. Yet it isn't really reassuring. You're just as sane as I am. Especially because the next thing she starts talking about is Nargles? It's a charm, actually. It keeps away the Nargles. How random she is and how awkward everyone else seems. Truly, this scene is comedic gold. I hope there's pudding. And it was all thanks to the talented Ivana Lynch. Later, when the cast shared their favorite lines, she said that, you're just as sane as I am, is hers. Just, it just gives no comfort at all to whoever she says it to. She's totally right. Now, let's recall. Number four, murder me, Harry. Bloody hell! Those robes Ron wore to the Yule Ball. He looked especially unhappy when he saw Harry wearing normal and, frankly, pretty impressive robes. Well, I expect yours are more traditional. Traditional? They're ancient! Yeah, that's when traditional doesn't mean good. I look like my great aunt Tessie. And it gets worse. Smell like my great aunt Tessie. Interestingly, the costume department explained how they created those robes. They just kept in mind that Ron's mom was supposed to be the one making them, so the costume had to be clumsy and fashionably ugly. It was all done on purpose and led to quite an iconic look. Yet Ron had only one thing to say about them. Murder me, Harry. His hilarious suffering lightened up the mood in the Goblet of Fire, which was a pretty dark film. And the next scene did a similar thing for The Deathly Hallows Part 1. Number 3. The Seven Potters when all of his friends transform into him, Harry obviously feels pretty embarrassed, and the way all of them react to it is brilliant to watch. Wow, we're identical. Harry, your eyesight really is awful. Share in the comments whom you liked the most as imposter, Harry. Our favorite is Fleur. Bill, look away. I'm hideous. It looked funny behind the scenes as well. Bill, look away. I'm hideous. Roll's not coming off. But Dan wasn't too embarrassed to film it. In fact, he was happy to do it. I was thrilled. That was one of the things I was delighted about was how good I looked at Fleur's costume. I look fantastic in women's clothing. It took three days to shoot this scene, and director David Yates said that by the end of it, Dan became remarkably good at embodying his female co-stars. But we bet that he wouldn't be able to embody this fabulous woman. Number two, using the ultimate spell. At the beginning of the Battle of Hogwarts, McGonagall is the one to give orders. She even tells Neville to blow up the bridge to keep the Death Eaters away. To blow it up! Boom! Boom! Wicked! Next comes one of the most epic moments in the entire franchise as McGonagall revives the Hogwarts statues. Pierre Totem Locomotor! But moments later, epicness turns into hilariousness. I've always wanted to use that spell. At this moment, McGonagall reminds us of a kid who gets to unwrap a long-awaited Christmas present. And the look on Mrs. Weasley's face makes it even funnier. She looks utterly shocked by everything going on around her. This scene is the ultimate McGonagall moment as it shows how ferocious she is. Even Maggie Smith agrees with that. I suppose I'm the one who keeps them in order. I'm really fairly fierce, she said about her character. Now, are you ready for the funniest moment of the saga? Number 1. Harry on Felix Felicius This scene was pretty different in the books. Harry became super confident after taking the liquid luck potion, but in the movies he behaves as if he's drunk or high. Harry! Sir. Also, he's very logical. Is that an actual acromantula? A dead one, I think, sir. <laughs> and funny. Not to mention the pincers. It's pretty hysterical to watch, but it turns out that Dan Radcliffe doesn't agree. He thinks his acting in The Half-Blood Prince is the worst. I hate it. My acting is very one note and I can see I got complacent and what I was trying to do just didn't come across, the actor commented. He shouldn't be so critical of himself because his comedic timing in this scene was awesome. Do you agree with our rating? What other funny scenes would you add? Share in the comments below. 
And if you want to watch more Harry Potter videos, check out what else we have on Awesome Movies.